Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to the new Layers of Fear game. And if you've never seen Layers of Fear, they are an atmospheric horror game series, described sometimes as being a bit similar to uh, P.T. Silent Hills. And this is the newest entry in the series, and it's a little funny, it's actually a remake of both the first and second game, and also includes some new content and a sequel chapter. And in this video, we'll be specifically covering the new content. So this, it's not really a DLC, it's, they label it that in the marketing, but it's part of the main game. Uh, this one you play the wife, and the first game you played the husband, the DLC you play the daughter, and complete the whole family now. I need someone to confide in, and that someone is me. You mustn't give up. You had everything any of us ever wanted. You still do. Your talent, your marriage, your daughter. Neither of these went away. The only thing the flames changed was you. You have power over yourself. Live your life. Reclaim it. Don't let your body be your cage. Guess I didn't want to read that last line. Huh. Hush now, my baby. I'll tell you a tale. There was a man whose world wasn't pale. There was a woman who made the world sing. And they found love the most beautiful thing. I think that didn't work out. I feel like you're, uh, trying to tell me something these chains. After some time, they had a child that brought light to their life, a lot of light. She loved her parents, her dolls, and her toys. And even Daddy wasn't mad at her noise. I guess she felt really trapped. Then, one day, there was a fire. It took from Mommy all her desires. She didn't know what to do with her life. I looked fine in the mirror. Ah. And then, she found a very sharp knife. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Is this how I looked? Looks like things might have changed out there. The portrait's probably gonna progress a little bit as we go, It's my guess. It's so dark in here. Time to let the light in. Hmm. Okay, it's just a locked icon. Excuse me, door. So if you don't know the context of Layers of Fear, uh, I think I do have a play for the very first game, not the remake on my channel. I don't think I have the second, but it doesn't apply to this uh, kind of sequel much anyways.
but the game inherently was about a painter and how his life and some of the things that happened in their lives affected the whole family. And then it had DLC where you played as the daughter and you kind of saw how it affected her. And I think I might mention at the beginning that now this is your playing the wife. So despite this being attached to Runic, this is technically a sequel and you can argue is layers of free, free. Turn that flash on off, don't really need it. It's pretty bright. Got a bandage. <sighs> that implies something's about to attack me, huh? Still kind of... I mean, well, it gets dark sometimes. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's what I remember from Layers of Fear. It is interesting this dev team is the one they've tasked with uh, doing the Silent Hill 2 remake, I believe. it away. I can't look at it. And don't try to bind me again. So there's another thing for context, if you have not seen Layers of Fear. The wife should have some fairly bad burn scarring going on. It's the bandages that was just used there. Okay. So I turn the painting, now we have a door we can't exit because there is wood in front of it. So let's turn it again. This one, the door is locked. Hallway is still pretty similar. Yeah. Seems like it's just kind of like a... Uh... Well, empty of things we need hallway. There we go. Got a key. Use flashlight to defend yourself. I think she's reforming. I better get out of here. Okay, we should be good. Locked. She was in a lot of pain. It's now it's in that back corner. I hate this. 
but it seems simpler than playing the violin. For now. So let's cut to the right. That's not good. Where are you coming from? Behind me. Let go. I think we can, yeah, we should be good. She spun way too far away to make any, uh, to get in any range. What would I do without you? This prison would be unbearable. There's a violin. Yep, right there. It's the scene in the painting. Let's flip it again. Okay. What are you doing? I don't want it. Take it away. No, Mr. Bear. These are cleared out. Locked. Yeah, see, there's the burns. You can't go on like this. I need to break free. And like I mentioned at the beginning, also, uh, the, the, the chain symbolism was, like, pretty obvious. If the finger you put it on has been deformed, destroyed, does the marriage even stand a chance? Luckily, I can take refuge in music. That's when my shackles get lighter, if only for a little while. Even the gramophone helps sometimes. I feel much better after listening to some vinyls. Also seems to think it helps. So this is gonna be the next area we'll go into. We thought everything we wanted to hide would fit here. How stupid we were. Today, a lock jammed in the bedroom door. I started screaming, begging anyone to open. It was a good half hour before a maid showed up. I don't understand. I lock the door in the house all the time. But something about being in a room I couldn't leave was just unbearable. Here we go again. I can't breathe in here. Go. Oh. We are the bird in the cage. Ow.
Yeah, we're out. Bird is through the coop. Breathe. Even my instruments have their prisons. Do you want to stay with me, little bird? It's safe here. Suffocating, but safe. That little bird is, uh... I feel like this is a choice. Maybe you want to fly away into the unknown and learn how to breathe again. A choice that's probably going to determine the ending. Let's, uh... Let's go to the right first. Will it be better outside? I feel like that's more of a positive outcome from the ending. There's nowhere to run. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Cut out the portrait. I know it now. I measure. My room is shrinking every day. He paints it at night, and every morning the walls are this much closer. I feel like my life is falling apart. Everything I touch breaks. Life is closing in on us right pretty fast. The painting is so bland that you have to focus to see that it's even there. Looks like the work of a person afraid to change his surroundings. Someone who's resigned and isn't willing to put himself out there. Who hates to see even his loved ones out and about and free. A man who will imprison his family just to stop them from getting better than him. Yeah. That's where we just came from. Notice how she rips down the chains when you complete a section. Let me out! Whatever you say about this place, it had great acoustics. I could move souls. I could do anything I wanted with them, if I had them listening. This here, it was my place of power. Even that was taken away from you. HA! Oh, I recognize that. Today after dinner, I tried to pick up the violin, and I just couldn't grasp the bow. 
The problem wasn't even holding it properly. It was holding it at all and not letting go. Not screaming with pain. It's like my hands are in shackles, like every finger has its own ball and chain. I can't move them properly. A painting as boring as this one could be conceived only by a person who doesn't feel or understand emotion anymore. A vile, heartless man, locked in a bland, boring prison. I don't know, that painting's pretty metal. Huh. Oh god, I'm on fire. Symbolically. No, everything's on fire. Got a little bit of a lead on. It hurts. I'm so sorry. God, I just wanted to stop. It will. We'll look for help. Everything will be all right. No, I, I don't want more strangers to see me like this. But I can't do this alone. I'm not a doctor. There's my work. There's our daughter. There's too much for one person. Please, darling. We need help. But the medicine helps. It isn't that bad. My body will heal. I will heal. I, I just... I need to be with my loved ones. With you. Not with the doctors. We can't let that accident take our life from us. Oh, I just teleported. Whoop. So day after dinner, I tried to pick up the violin. I just couldn't crest. Well, the problem isn't even holding it promptly. Yeah, we saw that. So that's a catalog of all the files we found. I'm so glad you're all doing well. Are you sure, though, that you should be planning a journey abroad already? Traveling can be exhausting, even in the best circumstances. Give yourself time to heal, please. So I should say, I have a, I have a kind of a funny love-hate relationship with the, uh... I like the original layers of fear, but the um, blooper devs and their work in general. I try to think of better times. Of our engagement, of the exhibition we did together. His paintings on the walls, my music in the air. Freedom. So I think they're they're pretty good writers when they actually do write. Uh, and they're they're very good artistically, but after the first layers of fear, they just they had, a, they had a big issue of losing the horror aspect, and it didn't quite help that they were very influential, actually. The first one, in that everyone kind of started copying the layers of fear jump scares and the, the set pieces. I started practicing again. It isn't much and is frustrating, but it feels good. He keeps telling me that I should be careful. I don't think he believes I can get better. I think he likes it that I'm locked here, in this house, in my body. 
with him having all the control. And the thing, oh, that was weird. This house, in its body, in my head. Uh, um, I was about to say, uh, and the thing I found funny is that you had two developers, somewhat similar -ish time. Layers of Fear was newer, obviously. Um, you had the Amnesia, and then you had Layers of Fear. These, like I said, were both pretty influential for uh, the indie horror scene and even some mainstream horror. Like you saw Capcom games and things taking set pieces from you have seen either Layers of Fear or PT or Amnesia. But both of them kind of, after their first game, they, they kind of had a hard time reaching audiences again and capturing that same this magic. This is where we pretended to be normal, sane, stable people. Where the shackles were the heaviest. And I think you can kind of really chalk that up to because they both did it. The, the new Amnesia the Bunker is pretty good about not doing that. But the, uh... They just, they went really hard on the, uh... The walking part of walking simulator horror games. I guess you would say. But it also makes me a little bit scared for Silent Hill 2. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Always back to the hallway, huh? Ooh, that's pretty. The library is so much more than just a room. It's an escape. Hundreds of escape exits. This is what I mean. The Bloober team, when it comes to environments and just art design, they're, they're really good. There was never a game they made called Observer. I think that was them. Um, been a while. That was like a cyberpunk one. Great art design and aesthetic. Terrible, terrible gameplay. And when I say gameplay, I don't just mean like, oh, there was not enough monsters. I just mean terrible pacing. Huh. You're missing something. You have a responsibility. There's a child who needs you. I understand this is hard. I, I understand that you're in pain. But you are a mother, for God's sake. Yeah, it was just a family that got hit with the wrong thing and just wasn't going to work. Captive. Indeed. I don't know what you should do, but I know this. Your husband is a grown man. A grown man who swore to love you, honor you, comfort you, and keep you in sickness and in health. You know the damage the flames do better than anyone. Don't set yourself on fire to keep him warm. Thank you. Be a company, and I think it's myself. 
Trust no one. Not even you know who. So we definitely probably got to go over there first. Going by where the chains are kind of laid out. But I do want to look over here. This might... Let me see where this leads. No, it's fine, we came here. When I had Sebastian, I thought I would be the best mother to ever walk the earth. And it almost killed me. With Margaret, I give myself more space to breathe, to be myself. I am happier for that. And the children seem to be happier too. Our walls are melting into paintings, and I'm not for that. Go, 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 go! Hold on, I just want to look at this. That's pretty cool. We may have company soon. It did kind of head towards this way, but I'm not sure if it's actually active or it's just like a a scripted thing that kind of said like, oh, it still exists. Almost got wheelchaired. Notice each section is... we're walking a plank. But that's a pretty curious, because it's been pretty consistent on that. Practice makes perfect. Now we go down the stairs. We would have. So I think they want us to go this side first. Yeah. There's a few... Let me check around this corner real quick. Okay, nothing of note around this back corner. Whoa. I feel like it's the house that is moving around me. Not me moving around the house. My head is spinning. Oh. shouldn't be so prominent in a three or maybe two-year-old, but I remember it clearly. The realization that the piano would do what I wanted it to. The feeling of complete control. From that day, I strived for it. Whoa, we just, uh, rubber banded. So let's go to the more left leaning one over here. Yep. 
You know this game has an option that you can turn on, the options where you just can't die? But so far I've only encountered one area where we could have theoretically died if you just didn't use the flashlight. So that's, uh... I have not seen anything that would warrant that as far as any difficulty. I mean, you know, it could still be a ways off. We'll see. Run. Do you remember the what? saying that behind every great man stands a great woman? Your husband has the bearing of a great man. But without your help, without someone who's always there for him, who keeps the home fires, he will wither and die. You proved yourself to be a strong woman. I know you have it in you to be there for him, even now. The tragedy that hurt you, hurt him too. I know you have compassion in your heart. Reach for it. I feel like they're gonna call us on that. There is no escape. So that step for this door there is. over to that side. Can I... I have to. I have to get it back. I, I have to learn to write again. Yeah, we're not going back that way. What should I write? When I had Sebastian, I thought... The surge. I don't know what you should... Interesting. And these... I need to learn myself again. I wonder if choosing the positive choices is... Ah, see. Scale. That probably is, um... It means we chose a choice that's going to determine the ending. Dearest, you were just a child. But in ten years' time, you'll be a woman. It's a hard part to play. I want to tell you the lessons I learned when my life fell apart. When you become a mother, give yourself space to breathe, to be yourself. You'll be happier, and your children will be too. There is no such thing as a perfect mother. The only rule is to love your child. In marriage, remember, he is your husband, not your child. A grown man who swore to love you, honor you, and keep you in sickness and in health. Care for him deeply, but don't forget about yourself. If you pursue art, use it to discover the deepest truth of your own soul. Then everything else, fame, money, won't even matter. 
Once you learn how to uncover your own soul with your art, when you feel that surge of power, that's when you'll know that you're an artist. I pray that you don't have to learn these lessons the hard way. I love you, always. Well, so I'm wondering if the choices we've made have adjusted the game at all. Break the chain. It's like I'm always bound. All I wanted was for her to be happy and free. And the toy just disappeared into the void. Honey, wait for me. There's always a way to connect with the things we love. And this way is acceptance. Why are you a creepy toy? Not so fast. There was one reason for her to be strong. Her little daughter. But it was all wrong. <laughs> Wait for mommy. <laughs> Hold up. Had to walk into a jump scare, no problem. When in darkness, try to remember that you have a daughter. You brought her into this world, and she needs you. Be strong for her, if not for yourself. Let's check the right side now. I tried to play. But it was insane. To caress a child with hands bound with chain. Come on, sweetie. You know mommy can't go down there with you. Let's gotta go around the uh, corner. No. She doesn't even know what to do with the dolls. She mostly tries to make them go to us when we call her. Jump scare. Locked. That thing just flew through a window. She named it Mr. Quiet. Mr. Quiet is her favorite toy. He never screams, she told me. He never makes a sound. Daughter, you okay?
Well, I really did get wheelchaired in the end. That little like warp teleport thing's curious. Things are going better now. Truly is a miracle child. Quiet, well behaved. Does everything I ask her to do. Little obedient prisoner of this place. Just like me. You made a vow after all. To be together in health and sickness. Your husband also needs a refuge. Someone to rely on. Please keep going. It was just a tricky... This is a tricky situation for everybody in this, if I vaguely remember. I need to do more. If they see me playing a sonata, they, they won't lock me up. It's a nice detail. I mean, I noticed it before, I'm just bringing it up now. With how, when the wife is writing, like, you see, like, it's a little more scratchy and stuff. Because her hands, they're not able to, uh... Well, the mobility is more limited. For various reasons now. So aside from the obvious narration, like, you instantly know, like, you see it, like, alright. Yeah. I'm sure that when she gets better, both your art and hers will reach new heights. It's just a matter of time and of her wanting to heal. Notice they both have friends. I mean, that's normal, but like, they're, they're doing like a parallel thing thematically. No, you don't do that. Yes, I hit it! Can't you see what's happening to you? <laughs> the rotten heart of our house. I'm assuming we're going to go in the painting room now? There was a time when I couldn't spend a day without crying. But now, I don't even want to do that. It's like my emotions are locked in their own cage, and I can't even be bothered to look for the key. Well, that disappeared. Playing with our daughter is usually a joyous occasion, one of few left in my life. Today, though, I had to ask her to leave almost mid-sentence. It's all these questions. How do you feel, Mommy? What do you think, Mommy? Mommy, why are you sad? What is your name, Mommy? I don't know, darling. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything but the fact that my chains grow heavier every day. Take the musket or take the kin. Which primary do you want to dis do I want to destroy? Yeah, see the uh Time to choose. Now, I hope I'm interpreting this correctly. So it says, which part of me do I want to destroy? 
But if you look at the painting, it shows this being shot at that. So at first I'm like, oh, I want to store this. But if I grab that, I think I'm going to like glass the kid, if you know what I mean. So I'm hoping I'm choo choosing this right. Or maybe I get the, the gun and sh do something else? Like, how do I not destroy my kid? Where's where, where's the, the, the not use the musket on the kid option? Do I do this? Okay, you burn it. I'm assuming that's a positive choice. I would hope so. Happy. And you can go back there. This looks like... I feel that my soul has gone sick. And that's why I'm writing to you. It's like all my energy has gone away. It is hard to even get out of bed. Not because of the pain. I don't mind the pain as much as... Oops, accidentally clicked through. Um, I mean, if you go back and pause that, you'll, you'll see the text. Which part of me do I want to destroy? This! Obviously. But now that I think about the um the option we're not dying, that probably comes up more in the other games. Because this is basically just a remake of everything they've ever done. There's no other way. Isn't that another way right there? What's happening to me is right, on some level. I deserve to be imprisoned in this body, in this house. After all, what can I bring to the outside world? Why should anyone love me, admire me, seek my company? You know, going back to my previous point about the nature of these, um, this and the... That was straight PT. Um, the Amnesia developers. Is I wonder if there was a bit of a... Typecast syndrome. Where they, where they kind of wanted to reject... Because, you know, like, all those, those games kind of coincided with the, the rise of... you're describing aren't uncommon, especially among women and artists. Being that you are both, uh, you are naturally more prone to hysteria and melancholy. I'd suggest avoiding extreme emotions ha! and spending time in, in peaceful surroundings. In fact, we have a center for troubled women Easy for you to here say. and just over the sea. Uh, I feel like your advice, Doc, is a bit of the questionable side. <laughs> you know, you're, you're a terrible pain, but... Try to avoid those those emotions. But yeah, as I was saying, because uh, if you look pre amnesia, amnesia is pretty similar to Penumbra in those games. So like there was a consistency there. I'm um, obviously they gave the series to our developers and stuff, but uh, that was kind of the start, really, of a lot of like that reaction face screaming YouTuber. And I wonder if that had some effect where, like, we don't want to be known for the reaction, scary horror game. We want to, like, make art. You know. So they went hard in the other direction. We had another argument today. To the sales store. I was feeling all right, and I just snapped. 
I don't understand why I'm being treated that way. The, the accident was ages ago. And I left largely unscathed. I'm fine now. It's like he wants me to be locked in this house forever. He was hurt. I could see that. And as ashamed as I am to admit it, it brought me a bit of satisfaction. What have I become? What have I become? That looks pretty deep. You want to go? This looks almost like a boss arena. Do you see a uh, scale anywhere? We're warning me not to pick up this knife. Oh, the knife. I wrote to the doctor, declining his offer. I won't be locked up. I, I won't let them. I will get through this on my own. This is my head. Yep. I think it might be catching up, I can't really tell. I gotta make sure I have enough battery to, you know, to, to knock it down. So I can't use too much? Oh, it's right there. Now I'm not sure, there, there is a chance me, um, making it burn alright will affect the ending. Okay, response. That's why I was catching up, because it's teleporting. Open. Open. Let go. There's a scale. I'm gonna burn the one that doesn't have roses and flowers around it. Don't mind if I do. I think I know which one I have to burn. Love this song, by the way. Later. I think the scissors represent us slashing up the paintings at the end there. Because the room to the right was the, uh, I believe, the painter's room. No! No, I'm free! I get a bad ending. Like, I choose one wrong option somewhere early on. Didn't notice. Pathetic. You weakling. You claim that you're perfect? Nothing would hurt you if it were the truth. Perfection is incorruptible, eternal, proud. Look at you, chasing me around like a fool. What even am I to you? My true self. I am perfect. Nothing can hurt me. This is just a test. And I'm passing it. Everything is fine.
No, I think we're on the, the right track. We rejected the painting, so I feel like that's good. Why did you lie to me? We prepared for your visit, you know. John and Mary were delighted to see their aunt and uncle again. And you can't imagine their, and mine, disappointment when you never came. Your husband tells me you're in no fit state to travel, and that he told you as much. That he never agreed in the first place. Please, don't write to me until you're ready to face the truth about your condition. I don't have the flashlight anymore, so this is, uh, it's essentially end game. Here is the painter's room. My husband's palace. When he locked himself in there, the whole house felt like a prison cell. Yeah, there we go. Final hallway. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Blue Bird Team is really good at environments and stages. Like they're arg they're arguably when it comes to that stuff and the graphical effects stuff like they're arguably I haven't seen many developers even AAA pull that off. They just need to work on their pacing. I'm sorry for the late answer. These letters are hard to read for me. I don't sleep because I'm thinking about you and your misfortunes. I need a break after each letter. And when I come back to it, to write the answer, there's always a matter of deciphering. Your handwriting. I'm sure you know it's not as beautiful as it used to. Damn. I should probably get moving. Yesterday I was woken up by, I think, the most terrible sound I've ever heard. Like a sick cat being slowly strangled. It took me a long time to realize it was the violin. She picked it up and tried to play. I think there's no coming back for her. collapses. From what you write, this whole situation oh God. is very hard oh. for your child. Maybe you should spend less time with her. I know it's painful, but I believe it will be for the best. You both need time. I always really like this. It's it's on the game's like logo and art. There's like a horror version of it too. But like it's I like it. Oh. Ah. Sometimes I think oh. she changed. Oh, why with the flashing lights? That this is not the person I loved. 
But this is not a person I could ever love. Here it goes. Well, the version over here? What's going on here? If you refuse to take on recommended treatment and visit my facility, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you. Maybe they stop doing that flashing light thing while I'm reading the notes. When's there uh when going up? Is this going to an area I haven't been before? No? It's it's broken and cut off. Hmm. I don't think you fully understand your condition. You have been in a terrible accident and you are, to be honest, lucky to be alive, not to mention writing letters, demanding of your body to come back to normal. To be healthy is like demanding a broken mirror to fix itself. Uh, you're doing great progress and you're healing, but I'm afraid things won't be back to normal. No doctor on earth can make the pain go away. I'm truly sorry to tell you that. But you will have to learn to live with it. I hope you'll understand one day. All my life, I was told to strive for perfection. And I didn't strive, I achieved it. I was the most talented musician, the most inspiring you, the most caring mother, the perfect wife. I never accepted my own weakness as an excuse. And then it caught up to me. Now there is no coming back, the life we had. There's no use. How could they understand it if I don't? I think I just need something that will work. I need this to end. There is no coming back to the perfection I once had. No coming back to chaining myself into the roles people want me to play. No coming back to crushing my soul under others' expectations that I think are my own. There will be no coming back here. I'm ugly. I'm disabled. I'm useless. I'm free. Do you want to stay with me, little bird? It's safe here. Suffocating. So here's the ever safe. first choice. Let's suffer together inside this golden cage. Okay. There's no coming back to how we I will was. do the left choice. This 
destroy kid. Destroy painting. Destroy music. Pathetic, you weakling. You claim that you're perfect? Nothing would hurt you if it were the truth. Perfection is incorruptible, eternal, proud. Look at you, chasing me around like a fool. What even am I to you? You are my future. I am strong enough to be you. I will be perfect. See, this cutscene was a little different. All right, this should be the bad ending. Perfection. To call yourself an artist, a musician, a woman in her many roles, muse, wife, mother. To call yourself anything, you need to at least strive for perfection. I didn't strive. I achieved it. And then it was taken from me. Forever locked outside of the cage that was my life. I would not accept it. I am no one. I am nothing if not perfect. Why am I so cold? Why is it so silent? So that's it for what I'll play of the Layers of Fear remake. I don't really feel like going and making a playthrough of the uh, first two games in our DLCs, even if they've been remade. It does look like the graphics are improved, but the first Layers of Fear to look pretty good. Uh, I do have a fairly old playthrough of the uh, first game and its DLC, which would link into the mom chapter here specifically. And I will note there isn't kind of over chapter over all of these so if you actually start the game from the beginning it forces you to go for the entire series and there's like a hub chapter that kind of was like link things together a bit and stuff like that but like i said i do have a, a kind of love hate relationship with blooper team games i think they also made a blair witch one and he here's the problem with blooper team like i said they, they make beautiful stages beautiful stages they used to make pretty pretty uh set pieces but their set pieces are, well, I think, a little more tamer nowadays, actually. So to kind of go into, let's go, let's go back to the beginning. So I believe, if I remember correctly, Layers of Fear came out after PT, and this, I think this was after PT was canceled, because the original Layers of Fear wore its PT influence on its sleeve. I don't know if the developers believe that or not, or if they've confirmed that, but it's it's very obvious. And they essentially took the best parts of PT, missed a few things, and then they made a full fledged game out of it, and they. Gave a somewhat compelling story, in my opinion, but Layers of Fear really rode on that, because there was a lot of PT clones, and they were... almost all of them were failures. But Layers of Fear was the one that was polished, it had its own kind of identity and everything, and it was very popular on YouTube. And I think, as far as indie horror games went, it, it probably sold pretty well. And then Bloober Team would go on to make some DLCs and sequels and other games and stuff like that. 
But that's when they became kind of known as the walking sim devs, or the long hallway or disappearing hallway developers. And the series kind of really disappeared. And not that this stopped being made, it's just that no one really talked about their games much. You can actually look, and you can sometimes do some parallels here. You can kind of look at the view counts on larger YouTube channels, like even bigger than mine, and you can kind of see the view collapse on their later releases because they just weren't entertaining. And not even just from a Let's Play perspective, they had they started running into really terrible pacing issues or same formula issues, even if the art was great. And this is a good example in... I'm 100% sure they made that Blair Witch game. Uh, I guess I also did the medium. I did not play the medium. So I can't say that was a... Uh, I think that was at least decently received. But I remember from what I saw, it was a little bit different than their other games. But if we go back to the Layers of Fear formula style, like that style kind of burned out on them. And I think Blair Witch is actually a pretty good example, because that's a, the, you know an established property that's fairly visceral, despite it being very simple. And they managed to make it tedious, I remember. With only a few highlights, but just a very, very tedious game. And their newest DLC, it's not really DLC, it's, it's part of the game. Uh, their newest content, it has the same feeling as, as a Bloober Team game. The modern Bloober Team, anyway. So I, I can kind of tell, like, yeah, they, they still have the same directing style that they switched to. And that does make me wonder if there's a, some consciousness of that, that that's, that's why they kind of paired the, the arguably most popular of their Layers of Fear style games, which is the original Layers of Fear, in a remake format with the entire series, and then sprinkled some more stuff on top. Very, um, very high value package, actually, for you get this entire series in one go. But because of that, Unless there's a lot of oversight, I am a little bit scared about that that Silent Hill remake or Silent Hill 2 or whatever. They do have a skeleton of you know a whole original game to go on, so maybe it'll be fine. But not counting kind of the medium since I didn't play that, I have not enjoyed a Blooper Team game um, outside of like its visuals and story anyway since the first Layers of Fear. Not even the DLC is as good as the original. I think the series kind of needs to do what Amnesia the Bunker did, where it's kind of like all right. We gotta pull back the we want to be a movie thing. That only works for Hideo Kojima. <laughs> you know, like, get back to the roots of what people kind of liked of the original, and then, and, and you know, not with just a remake, but like, you know, a new game. But they're probably all hands on deck for Sound Hill, so I can see why they, they might release layers if you're like this. Here's a, uh, here's a hard example of how much of a lack of pace story based game this is. If you do not pick up any notes and listen to them, because they're not on their second playthrough, I think they say they basically keep between the saves anyway. So when I was doing the um, run to get the other ending, I think the whole game only took me 18 minutes. So it's like an hour, a look over an hour gameplay, which is just gone down to 18 minutes. And this is not really a speed run game. It's not like you're like making huge shortcuts to get to places or anything, or like going fast or learning some cool strategy. You still do the same puzzles in the same exact gameplay. You're just never stopping to listen to a note. So when your main gameplay is only 18 minutes long, granted, there's a whole bunch of other games attached to this. So like I said, the, the whole game itself is good value. I'm just talking about this uh, chapter here. So 18 minutes of gameplay and then an hour of listening to notes, that's it's very imbalanced. And you could pull off a, a very story-based, low-key horror game with minimal gameplay. I always go back to Soma. Soma was really good on that. But Soma was, in a very subtle way, very visceral. There wasn't much monster action, except for very specific scenes of a lot of monster action. But it was a fairly visceral, unique, compelling game. While Layers of Fear now is in the field that has a lot of, or has had a lot of competition, um, and games coming out in the span of times since the original. But yeah, not a terrible game. It, there is a, a lot of artistic merit to it. It's just, it's not a game. It, it's a sound novel. Anyway, so if you go off and watch you play the new Layers of Fear, or at least part of it anyway, I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.